Yeah, Rafael reporting for Fighting Proud of Justin with Chris. How you doing, Chris? You good? Long time, man. I'm seeing you on the scene for a bit. Last time I saw you was in February, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah on yeah. the uh, boxing show, ITV. Boxing show, yeah. So what's yeah. been happening, man? Just fill us in what's been happening since then. Um, basically, we've been fighting just on just on a few small hall shows for now. Just building up um, my career. I boxed on one Barry McGuigan show, but because I was on so early, it wasn't on live, but we got the win at the end of the day, that's what matters. And um, now we're just going to continue the graft to the next fight. Man. So, have you got your plans mapped out for 2018? What's your yeah, plans? yeah, we're, I'm trying to get the titles going on. So, wherever titles available or whoever's got it, we want to fight, man. Southern area, English is there. We just want to build ourselves up now. So, um, this year was a, it was an okay year. I'll say for me it was an okay year, but next year we're really going to put the gloves on, get the gun out, load it and start shooting properly. So, yeah, so yeah. obviously how many fights did you have this year? This year? About, I had five. Five, so five, how many yeah. fights do you want in 2018? Another five. Yeah? Another five. five. Yeah? Another five. Another five and just gradually go through gradually the race. Gradually go yeah? from there. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. So. So obviously it inspired that you had to, I'm just speaking to Ted right there, he said you have some good sparring man, Josh Taylor. Yeah. yeah. How did that go? Yeah. How did that go? Because he's, he's a good fighter himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a class act man, as you can see now he's going for a world title for his next fight. So I mean I got in there the first time with him and Barry and he said, listen, that's one of the best work that I've seen the guy come and give him. You need to come again. So yeah, we went back, I had the fight and then after the fight on his show, I got straight back in there, straight five weeks with him, three times a week, sparring, helping him out. So we had a good camp, man. We had a good camp for that one. Yeah. So what do you reckon of Josh Taylor? That, that is like, is he powerful? Obviously, he fought Harvard Davis and he stopped him. How would you rate his power? His power is there. I would one say one thing. I would say yeah. he is very, very sharp. Yeah. He's very sharp. Yeah. Very sharp. And his body punches are great. He's, Shane, Shane McGuigan has done a perfect, done, done, done wonderful work on him mm. from turning from amateurs to pro, so mm. definitely. So moving on to obviously it's called British Beef Man. <laughs> <laughs> Said obviously it's the source of the beef, I mean, yeah, how did yeah. you see the press conference? What was your thought to the press conference? Uh, my thought was that the press conference went well. Yeah. It went how I expected it to go. Mm. A bit of smack talk right. from both sides. Uh -huh. So, yeah, man, I mean, I'm looking forward to the card because I know both sides. I know Lawrence. I know Isaac. I know Lawrence from, from the GBs. I know Isaac from growing up with him. We used to box for Lynn. And now we're together with Ted Bambi. So, I know both fighters very well. Mm. So, in terms, obviously, you, you be, he's, your spur, um, he's your training partner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. in the gym. How is he in the gym? The gym is looking good, as usual, as yeah. usual, looking very short right. before I cruise away. Okay. I mean, we went out to, we went out to um, Ireland to spar, to spar um, Isaac went to spar Mike Perez. And Mike Perez said out of all these 200 fights as an amateur, all these fights as a professional, he's never seen a, a cruiserweight with that speed that Isaac's got. And that will be very key in this fight. Right. And what do you think, obviously, the pedigree was mentioned up there? Because what do you, what's your thoughts on that, man? I was mentioned to pedigree. Yeah. It yeah. matters. But yeah. at some times, it don't really matter. You've seen some of the best amateurs. They've lost in the pros to guys that's probably just turned pro and not had anything. You've seen fighters like Tom Stalker. They've lost to uh, fighters like Jack Carroll. He wasn't a big amateur guy. You've seen guys like Anthony Ogogo, very experienced. Used to cunning them for the W was it WBC International? Yeah, yeah. Lose lose that fight. So there's loads of examples and um, fights that show you sometimes the amateur pedigree doesn't really matter in the pros. Mm. It's a different move. And obviously it's down to hard because we saw Conor then. He's mm. never had the amateur pedigree, but it was his heart oh, alone that got through that fight. And that's and Isaac coming through to the Camacho fight. Really shoulder, heart. heart. Heart wins everything, man. I yeah. mean, you could you could be the best fighter if you ain't got heart. When a guy put pressure on you, you fold. You fold. So yeah, man, it's all about that, man. You know? So are you expecting a 12? Do you think it'll go the distance this one? I believe it'll go the distance. Yeah. I believe it'll go the distance because Isaac is very quick. I feel he's gonna take Lawrence 
a bit of time to get to Isaac, but then again, Lawrence hasn't been past a certain amount of rounds. So we'll see. I'm sure he's working hard for it, and I'm sure he'll get through it. So yeah, we'll see, man. But I'm expecting it to go the full distance. Full distance. Mm -hmm. And finally, obviously, Chris Eubank, the guy who you sparred before, mm -hmm. um, he's got a massive fight with George Groves. George Groves. The whole yeah. British nation is talking about that fight, the opinions, the divided. Yeah. That's, your opinion That's another that. real British beef. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> another real Extra British beef. beef. Extra, Extra beef. beef. <laughs> so, so, yeah, talk man. Talk to I, me about it, but how do you see that? Um, I see that going, it's a good fight. Mm. I don't know if he's going to go the distance. Mm -hmm. I, I, well, I do know. It's yeah. all here. Right, That's for me too. only. Because I know George Groves, I know uh, Chris Eubank as well. So, my opinion, it will definitely be a great fight. We all know George Groves can punch. We all know Chris Eubank can punch, and he has that. That how can I? He has the stamina, and he can just keep going and throw punches. So, we'll see. Do you think obviously it would be the stamina because George Groves has been suspect with the stamina like six rounds against Rouch and we know like Eubank can throw for days. Do you mm -hmm. think that's what well, the telling fight? Sometimes when you see a fight like that, if a guy has a better skill than a man, all he has to do is work on something and touch up on the little things. Mm -hmm. So you might see Groves, he might go back and work on his stamina more and then touch up on his skill and how he's going to execute the fight. But his main part of this camp will be for his stamina to be levels with Chris Eubank. So right. you never know. He, he, the styles make fights. Like I say, if I know I'm fighting a guy that's going to come forward, I'm going to work on my boxing ability. Also work on fighting inside because sometimes you do get close to him. Right? So yeah, it's all how people adapt to him.